But the Venra Sadhu Pandita Bhivamsa very much or time and again has Satna highlighted, emphasized the importance of combining the practice of the Dhamma with the study of the Dhamma and both going hand in hand then leading on to the realization of Satna the Dhamma. So you know, when a retreatant starts with mindfulness certain meditation practice, then you know, this is nothing other than a practical course in Abhidhamma. So one learns about uh, you know, the nature of the mind, one learns about the patterns of foot you near know, the mind, the structure of the mind, and so on and so the forth. Abhidhamma being Buddhist psychology. And uh, Abhidhamma being the Buddhist uh, psychology. And uh, are then having engaged in an intensive uh, mindfulness retreat for a month or two or three, when one then goes on you know, to engage in the study of the Dhamma and let's say you know, the study of the Abhidna Dhamma, you know, then you know, various uh, uh, cate uh, theoretical categories are, are being you know, uh, spoken of, uh, you know, written about, then one will have already certain experiences, personal experiences, you know, that one can relate those certain statements to. And certainly then these statements make much more sense. Without practice, it's not so obvious to understand how the mind is really working. And with the study of the Dhamma, obviously comes a better understanding of the Abhidhamma, of the texts, the discourses given by the Buddha, and certainly then also of the Vinaya, the monastic code. And so, now, there are many passages, let's say, from you know, the discourses that uh, contain important advice on how to do you know, the practice. Knowing that, having that theoretical knowledge, if one takes it and uses it, you know, this during one's next retreat, then it will benefit one's practice, and one's practice will you know, you know, then move ahead smoothly. So in this way, you know, practice in certain theory, they indeed you know, they go hand in hand.